In today's video, boys, we go ahead and check out the new Future Stars Icon SPC card for Rykard. Rykard is an 89 rated card. He has medium high work rates, right footed with three star skill moves and four star weak foot. Now, we do see a bit of versatility with the card, which is always great to see. He kind of reminds me of Hullet in that sense. Center defensive mid, center back, and center mid. If we go ahead and look at his in game stats in a bit more detail, we can see that the card is extremely well rounded. He has 80 pace with 78 acceleration and 81 sprint speed. Now, honestly, boys, whether you play him as a center mid, center defensive mid, or center back, I do think that. That the shadow is probably your best option when it comes to chem styles 76 shooting is a decent stat if you do find him maybe like in an advanced position you can maybe score a few goals with him as well 73 attacking positioning and 70 finishing overall he does have some pretty decent long shots he does have 83 long shots with 86 shot power that's going to be very interesting to test out in game 82 passing is a really important stat especially if you do want to go ahead and incorporate him in the midfield he does have 90 short pass with 86 long pass now although the card does have 81 dribbling overall he does only have 73 agility and 70 balance so he is going to be a bit clunky on the ball. Really good reactions at 88, 90 ball control and 92 composure. That's some really solid stats right there. Now the 89 defending and 88 physical are the two most important stats for the card because we do need him to be very solid defensively. He does have a whopping 91 interceptions, 89 defensive awareness and 90 stand tackle. Defensively should be really good. And then the physical stats overall, man, are really solid as well. 91 stamina is huge if you do want to go ahead and use him in the midfield. 91 strength as well, 78 aggression. I think he's going to be very strong on and off the ball. If we jump on over to footbin boys we can see that right card does have six different play styles he has the intercept play style plus that's really nice power shot incisive pass block anticipate and trivella so some pretty decent play styles right there and when it comes to chemistry styles i do think that the shadow is probably your best option we need a big pace boost and then we should probably just go ahead and make his defending even better in game now i would show you guys what the card does get with the shadow chem style but for some reason it isn't working on footbin i think because it was released like five minutes ago but i think as a center back or center defensive mid with the shadow chem style and the intercept play style plus he is going to be an absolute tank as always boys if you guys do enjoy these fc24 play reviews go ahead and do me a huge favor if you guys can leave a like on today's video and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated this is the team we're going to be using in division rivals to test out the new right card card we're going to be playing them at the center mid position in the 4-3-2-1 formation as a more defensive minded center mid so without further ado boys let's go ahead and jump into game number one and let's see how good this card really is all right boys here we are jumping into game number one using right card and i actually have really high hopes for the card we're coming up against a really solid team doku uh best sir bobby charlton uh de Jong. it's a very good team but yeah boys the plan is to go ahead and use him at the center mid position the central center mid in the 4-3-2-1 we need him to be really solid defensively and then also maybe a bit of a threat going forward as well all right boys first things first let's go ahead and test out the cards dribbling now he doesn't have the craziest of agility and balance so he is going to feel a tad bit clunky on the ball he's also six foot two a bigger build and overall man for the most part yeah, he is a tad bit clunky on the ball, but it's not that bad. But yeah, boys, with his intercept play style plus, we want him to just break up the play, protect the defensive line. So hopefully we can do that. Oh, that's a good little interception right there from Rykard. I think he's going to be a beast, man. I really do. Now, we are going to also maybe try to incorporate him into the attack a little bit. He is six foot two. We'll whip it in. Rykard, a decent touch, man. The attacking positioning right there wasn't half bad. All right, boys, let's see if we can maybe create something. Rykard go over the top maybe he hasn't really tracked the run the four star weak foot it's actually a pretty decent pass boys we almost got to that i think his passing is going to be very important nice right card we can bring it out back towards the middle Let's see if we maybe get someone in behind man test out the passing a little bit more decent sprint speed right there with that shadow he is quite quick the pass maybe could have been a little bit better unlucky good boys patient build up we're moving the ball really well at the moment right card stick in his position a little bit of R1 dribbling right there. He's continued his run. Ooh, we're not going to get in front of Kim Min Jai, but decent strength right there. Rykard. Good touch. All the way. Frank Rykard. Good strength right there, boys. And a lovely cutback as well. I think the strength and aggression and overall his physicality is very important. We could potentially maybe try to get Fring Pong in behind. I don't think he's really going to track a run of a fullback. Rykard over the top. Good, man. Very consistent when it comes to his passing. Rykard. Again, just run in a straight line. Frank Reichardt, man, a decent finish as well. Going forward has been really good. You could potentially give him a hunter if you want him to be a bit more of an attacking threat. Reichardt again, man, very good tackle, very strong in the tackle. Still with it. Okay, right there, a tad bit clunky. We'll play back to him. Ball roll. Ooh, Reichardt, decent left stick dribbling right there. Good pass as well. It's a lovely finish, man. Good assist. 
I feel like there's just so much balance with the card, man. You can definitely do... Oh, look at that. That's what I'm talking about, boys. The card is extremely balanced. So I'm going to go ahead and play a short and just see if we can maybe hit like an inverted trivella, maybe. It's a decent attempt. I missed the slide tackle. That's definitely my bad. All right, card. The intercept playstyle plus is so good. I tried to go over top. Right card. What a ball, boys. What a ball. Honestly, beautiful pass into Svava. Might actually get a goal from this. Good block. Just played it through the middle. We got track back right here. The defensive cover has been really good. That's a decent block as well. We'll definitely take that. We can carry the ball out with him. Decent sprint speed and acceleration again. A lot of power behind his runs. Played through. Oh, that's a perfect pass, boys, into Socrates. Go for a shot. He might move his goalkeeper. Should have been an assist, boys. That's my bad. Just to have a little bit more fun with the card, we're also going to maybe try to get him in behind a few times. Test out his attacking capability. He's in very advanced position. Right card, step over. Ooh, very clunky right there. But a Trivella near post, man. That's a clean finish. Can't lie. He definitely, even though he doesn't have the craziest of shooting stats, only 76 shooting. If you get him in a really good area, he will convert the chance, which is nice. All right, boys. Here we are jumping into game number two. And so far, so good. We're coming up against a super team, boys. Mbappe, Messi, Dalglish, Vieira, Sawa. Wow. So far, so good, man. So I went ahead and compared his base card to this card. And they are pretty similar. It is a pretty decent upgrade overall. This one does have medium high work rates compared to his medium medium base card. So I think with the upgrades, with the card being only 260,000 coins to complete, I think it's a W. All right card, good positioning right there, good defensive awareness. The interceptions, man, so far have been great. Right card should win the header right here. Again, good defensive cover, man. I feel like he's in the right place at the right time so many times. Pina, right card, test out a power shot. Why not? It's a decent attempt, maybe if my aim was a little bit better. This guy's doing a lot of his defending with Sawa. Down the line. Nice boys. We gotta look for a cutback right here. It's a good one. One more. Right card. Very advanced position. We go for a Trivella. It's not great. I mean, his finishing, for the most part, you can definitely get a lot of goals with him, but it is inconsistent. He didn't call the foul, so we gotta track back. Right card. Another good interception. What a pass, boys. What a pass into Athena. We're gonna get another assist, man. His passing has been really consistent. Again, not the craziest of passing stats. But for the most part, it has been good. Good tackle right there again. Nice right card already with a really good interception. I think his interceptions and just like him breaking up the play in general has probably been the standout stat. Nice, good interception, man. Good cover again. I feel like I've repeated myself a lot today, but honestly, man, defensively has been rock solid. Good pass right there. Right card, good attacking positioning. Touch on the volley. I'm telling you, boys, he's not the most clinical of players, but if you get him into really good areas, he will definitely convert a few chances for you. All right, card. Get off of me. Ball roll. Trivella. Good shape to it. Ah, it's just a little bit too much power right there. Right, card, man. You don't even have to control him. You really don't. He does the defending on, its own, on his own sometimes. Right, card. Power shot. Good shape to it. Boys, the dip on that shot was actually crazy. Right card again, right place at the right time. Good strength on Leo Messi as well. We'll play it out wide. Over top, right card. Can he win the header? He can. He is a bit of an aerial threat, man. Six foot two. Good jumping right there. Great assist. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new Future Stars icon right card in a few games of Division Rivals. And to be completely honest, man, a really solid player in game. Now, as you guys probably already know, in order to complete the SBC, you're looking at around 250,000 coins. And for that, you're getting a really solid midfielder slash defender. Now, if we go ahead and dissect his in-game stats in a bit more detail, I just want to start off by saying that the card is really well-rounded. I feel like he can do everything pretty well. Now, the 80 pace with the shadow chem style, for the most part, he was really quick. I like the recovery speed on the card i think it's very important 76 shooting for the most part boys i mean it's not the craziest of stats but we were able to score a few goals with him which is nice the 82 passing a very important stat if you do want to go ahead and play him in the midfield and for the most part the short pass and long pass was very accurate very consistent now the 81 dribbling boys he is six foot two and he does have a bigger build so he definitely was a tad bit clunky on the ball but really good reactions and composure 89 defending was the standout stat in my opinion boys with the shadow chem style he has 99 interceptions and the intercept play style 
plus. And honestly, in the midfield, in front of the defensive line, he breaks up the play really well, and he can also carry the ball forward, which is really, really important in my opinion. And overall, defensively, man, he was just really solid, really good defensive awareness in the tackle. He's very good, very consistent. And then last but not least, boys, 88 physical for the card as well. 91 stamina, huge if you do want to go ahead and use him as a midfielder. The 91 strength as well. He's very strong on and off the ball. And yeah, man, overall, just the tank of a midfielder. You can go ahead and even potentially play him as a center back if you would like. I think he's best suited as a center defensive mid or maybe as a more defensive minded center mid in a midfield three. Overall, boys, I'm going to go ahead and give the card a 9 out of 10 rating. I really enjoyed using him as a center mid. I think for the SPC being only 250,000 coins and six requirements is a huge W. It's very easy to complete. And if you are looking for a player with a lot of versatility and that is very good defensively, I would highly recommend them. But that is going to be the end of today's video, boys. If you guys did enjoy it, let me know by leaving a like, comment down below what player you guys would like to see next in another player review. And then also consider subscribing to the channel. If you are new, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. I've been your boy, Boop, and I'll catch you guys in another one very, very soon. Peace.